why is the smallest positive integer such that 3150 times y is a perfect square? Where my mind goes is I immediately wonder, maybe 3150 itself is a perfect square, and then y equals 1. So I glance at the answer choices, and nope, 1 isn't in there. I can infer from this that 3150 is not a perfect square. And I'm wondering, well, what's it missing from becoming a perfect square? And in order to answer that, I'll have to look at the prime box of 3150. Are there any obvious factors for that number? Sure, 10. So that's 10 times 315. The 10 we can break into 2 times 5, and the 315, does that have an obvious factor? Sure, 5. How many 5s are there in 315? Well, 300 has 60 of them, and 15 has another 3, so it's 5 times 63. What about 63? Does that have any obvious factors? Yeah, 60 and 3, each is a multiple of 3. There are how many 3s in 60? There's 20 3s in 60 plus another 3 in 3, so 21 times 3. What are the factors of 21? 3 times 7. Now, we have the prime box of 3150. Let's look inside this prime box and see why is it not a perfect square, and what would it need in order to become a perfect square? So gathering all these primes together, I'm seeing that we have a single 2. Right? It's 2 to the power of 1, 3 squared, 5 squared, and 7 to the power of 1. Now, any even exponents within the prime box lend themselves to a perfect square, right? You'd be able to split this box into two identical mini boxes. That would be the square root of the number. But the single 2 and the single 7, those are a problem. I'm going to need another 2, and I'm going to need another factor of 7 in order for all of the exponents inside the prime box to be even so that I can split the box into two identical mini boxes, and therefore, the correct answer is E. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.